According to the EPA, the average American produces about four pounds of garbage per day. That's nearly three quarters of a ton during the course of a year. The trash that doesn't get composted or recycled inevitably ends up in a landfill. The Middlesex County landfill is a 700-acre facility that sees more than 240 trucks drop their loads per day, 80% of which is household waste. When a truck comes in, first comes into the facility, it goes through our, our queuing area and it's weighed at the scale facility. Um, after that, depending on where we're dumping on any given day, it'll follow one of the haul roads up to the actual uh, tipping area. The uh, big misconception about landfills is that it's an open sore of trash. Actually, the, the, the tipping area, which is referred to as a work face, is about 15,000 square feet. And at the end of the day, that fact will be covered. We cover that for odors, uh, vectors, fire control, and to keep the, the litter from blowing around. There was a time more than 40 years ago when open dumps had very little regulation to protect the environment. But modern landfills have come a long way since then. Since the 1970s, uh, environmental regulations were developed on the state and federal level to control uh, what happens when garbage is dumped. The key to that control is the use of a liner system. Basically, this landfill has what they call a double composite liner. It means it has two liners. It has two synthetic liners and two clay liners. So the idea is as leak liquids Co collect inside the landfill and settle down on the bottom. They hit the confining layer of the lining system and they travel in this sand layer and ultimately make their way to one of our numerous leachate handling stations and are ultimately pumped over to our wastewater treatment plant in Sayreville. Environmental educator Susan Lewicki illustrates the concept using this model of a layered landfill. I'm going to simulate a little rain by just pouring some water through the top. Inevitably, the water starts to carry all sorts of whatever's decomposing down to the bottom. The surrounding landscape does not receive the leachate. It's going to be contained within the liner. And while leachate is contained and treated, a product of the landfill's decomposition, methane, is actually offering some benefit. Methane is captured very simply. We just drill holes down into the landfill, and this open hole, we backfill that hole with stone and then we put some perforated pipe down in the stone. And what we've done is we created a corridor for the landfill gas to escape from outside of the landfill. The captured methane is a viable fuel source, which is then used by the county wastewater operation. If you can contain and treat the leachate, it's not resulting in groundwater contamination. If you can collect the methane, that can be used as a natural resource. That's positive. I really believe that the, the, re, the reuse, the recycling, the reduction of, of waste is is, 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 has taken place as industries and as residents understand that it, you know, they can definitely impact the amount of, of trash that they generate. When you put it on the curb, it just doesn't disappear. It has to go somewhere. 